So some of the things that come to mind, first of all, workflow automation. There's a lot of process around that. The data processing, I mean, that's essential to take that data from an unstructured um, format and turn it into structured, create recommended bookkeeping entries, be able to get into the GL. Um, I mean, that whole term is obviously AP automation, but there, there's even more to it. Um, the documents, when they come in, creating a document management system automatically so you can find the documents later on. And it's really important that it's not just the vendor name or the pricing information, but for example, if you can't remember the vendor name two years later, but you remember something you bought, you would want to easily be able to find that document. The approval flows, very important. Um, what about the reconciliation, being able to actually reconcile all the different documents you need automatically, analysis and reporting, being able to actually streamline that process. Daniel's already spoken about making that real time, absolutely essential to have all the data at the tip of your fingers. And one of the things that a lot of companies don't think about when they think about AP automation is the chat and the collaboration. So much time in the past has been wasted by companies having their accounting teams trying to liaise with one another. So asking questions to each other, also going to the greater company and being able to ask questions. Why was this document put in the first place? And is the amounts correct? And where should it be allocated? So items, some of them are definitely classified as AP automation. Some of them I would classify as greater around AP automation, but all of these elements would transform the way that the accounting and finance team in a business operates. And I think all of them are changing and all of them are essential.